Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm here on Sean Wright Reptiles, and here we have a black and white Annery Kenyan Sand Boa. That was a bit of a tongue twister, but this snake is absolutely incredible. He's been between my dad and I sitting on our hands for the last 10 to 15 minutes, and he really hasn't moved that much. This guy is great. Guy or girl. But so these Kenyan sand boas can be found in rocky and deserty uh, arid regions of Europe, the Middle East, and Northern Africa. And these guys, so you can look at their head right there, they have a kind of shovel nose appearance to it and their eyes sit on the top part of their head. So as they are constrictors and ambush predators, what they will do is on the top of the sand they'll be burrowing, burrowing down and then they'll stick their nose and their eyes up right above the sand and wait for a potential prey item to come by. A prey for these guys will be a small mammal and sometimes small birds or reptiles and things like that. These guys don't get super huge but they get around three feet when fully grown. And the females will be significantly larger than the males at their adult size. You kind of look at them here. My dad and I described it as just a large sausage because they're pretty much the same size all the way down their body and at the end of their tail it kind of dampers off and looks very much like their head I put them kind of close together it's roughly the same shape there so these guys have the same body shape as they're digging through their tunnels or they're burrowing around if their body is a different shape because a lot of snakes have a smaller head and it gets kind of big towards the middle of their body and it dampers down they kind of mess up the shape of the tunnel and it could collapse on them or they could get stuck if they're digging with their head and the rest of the body is bigger with their body being relatively the same size, they can glide right through their little burrows with very little problems at all. And then their little shovel nose helps them kind of dig their way through the dirt, since obviously they have no legs. As I mentioned before, that these guys are constrictors, and there are some venomous snakes that do constrict, but this guy is not one of them. And a common misconception is that if a snake has a vertical slit on their eye, that means they're venomous. And this could not be further from the truth for this species. He has a vertical slit and is not venomous at all. And it's also not true for a lot of species actually. These guys have a gestation period of four to six months, which is a very long time in their breeding season, uh, at least here at Sean Rice Reptiles, is uh, in the early part of the year between January and March. So he's starting to pair some of these guys together right now. And a fun fact about these snakes is that they are oviviviparous, which means that they give live birth. Some subspecies of the sand boas are not like that, and they'll actually lay eggs and build a nest and stuff like that. But for the majority of the species, they will uh, just give live birth, and the eggs will hatch out inside of them. But, as I mentioned before, this is a black and white anery, so let's look at a wild type and at some of the other morphs that he has. Sean just pulled out this normal, or a wild type, Kenyan sand boa. I just love the colors on this guy, and these colors are functional, will help them camouflage out in the wild with their arid, desert, uh, rocky environments. And if you look at their face especially, with all the little splotches of color, when they're hiding underneath the sand, all that little splotches will help camouflage them in the sand, and it's going to look like they're not even there, which I just think is absolutely incredible. But if you guys think that this coloration is beautiful, let's look at some of the other morphs that Sean has here. I figured I'd show you guys real quick an adult Kenyan sand boa. A lot of the times coloration from baby to adult changes quite significantly. So I figured I'd show you an adult. And the coloration is relatively the same, with the same splotches in the orange. I just think that's really cool. But let's put him back and look at some of the more colorful morphs that he has. Go back in there, little dude. Or do that. Down here, we have a really cool one. So Sean, what's... Which one's this guy? That one is a albino striped paradox Kenyan sand boa. He's down there. I'll let you use the snake hook. Yeah, I'll get get him out. He's uh, somewhat aggressive. But once you get him out, he's okay. This guy is. I'm gonna put that card right there quickly. This guy's super cool. I love all the black splotches on there. And you said that's what makes him a paradox, correct? Yep, correct. The black splotches are the paradox. And just a little bit of the orange stripe down his back. I think that's really cool as well. And obviously a whole lot lighter than the wild type. Let's go ahead and put him back real quick and move on to the next one. Go back to your little burrowing thing. 
And you got a strike one, correct? Yep, you got the All strike right. canyon sambo next. This guy maintains a, mostly a, of the natural colors, obviously with that orange stripe down his back. And I just love the faces on these dudes. They look so just bizarre with the eyes on top and the splotching on their face. And seeing these snakes as an adult, you can definitely see that kind of my oh, sausage analogy is kind of relatively the same size the whole way across. And the tail are right here, you got a really good view of that. It looks just like the head. Let's go ahead and put him back. What's the next one you have? And next, we'll get out this uh, got an anery female. You guys already saw an anery Kenyan sand boa. Well, this one's a female, and she's, she's pretty big. As I mentioned before, the female sand boas are significantly bigger than the males. This one is two years older than the male I was holding earlier. But I just love the coloration on these guys. Again, with the splotching on the face and the really short tail. These snakes are super cool. Uh, I know I say that a lot, but these guys are just really cool animals and they're perfectly adapted for what they do. Let's go ahead and put her back. Let's look at one more before right. we close this off. Next we'll get out this one. This is a Snow Paradox, Kenyan Sandboa. Will this one have the similar splotching like mm -hmm. the last one did? Yep, and the Paradox, All right. um, it varies from snake to snake, but you could have more or less Paradox on it. Yeah, this one definitely has a bigger splotch right there, and a couple down the side of the body. A whole lot lighter, and doesn't have the stripe like the last one did, so this is a d different genetic trait with that. Yep. Super incredible animals. I don't know a whole lot about morphs or anything like that, and genetic breeding, stuff like that. But seeing how many different variations of the same species of snake you can have just blows my mind every time. But thank you guys for watching this week's video and looking at all the awesome morphs that Sean has. But if you guys enjoyed this week's video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you next week.